Now, Jimmy, I recently had the privilege of getting invited to a special launch event down at NTech Connect in Melbourne of Roby's new BMFL. Oh, I can guess what that stands for. Yeah, bright multifunction luminaire. This is not what I was guessing. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, this uh, was a special release. It was a sneaky, you know, pre-rest of the world launch, uh, yeah. which you know has now yeah. happened. And this thing is a beast. They had it in the cavernous Royal Exhibition Buildings in Carlton, and were shooting at least 40, 50 meters up to the gigantic window of the eastern entrance. And I have never seen anything that bright, that useful, or that can throw that far with that much power. Now you got under the hood and got to play with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It does have a 1700 watt discharge lamp Whoa. inside, which is very big. And Roby actually spent some time in conjunction with the lamp maker developing the mm. lamp for the purpose. Yep. Um, at 1700 watts, you're burning a candle at both ends. Mm. So mm. Your, life, your lamp life is 500 hours. Mm. Um, you can bump that out to 750 if you drop the lamp down to 15 or 1200 watt mode. Mm. And there's not really a shift in color temperature when you do that, mm. which mm. is kind of cool. Um, look, it, it's... It's definitely got all the bright. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I did. I did try, you know, sort of to measure it up against its spec of, you know, however many lumens mm. at five meters, and my light meter just kept reading over. <laughs> and I eventually gave up. Okay. Um, well, that's obviously you know pretty brutal. But what I think it's really good at is subtle. Like so, the, the shift from color. When you when you kind of move through different colors, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, look, there's two different color systems. There, there, there's a CMY color mixing system which lets you do all those really subtle fades, and, and I played with that too. So like in 30 second fades mm. from the really saturated dark colors to mm. something bright, and you don't really see the fade no. happening. No, you just sort of one moment it's this color, and then you kind of like, oh, hang on, now it's a totally yeah. different color, and mm. I didn't really notice that change. Mm. Um, if you want alternate option to that, there's two color wheels. One's got all the big saturated colors and you can do your split beam effects yep. and things like that. The other one's got a lot of TV colors like minus greens, mm. that sort of thing. So there, there is, again, there's, there's scope for subtlety or sheer brutality. Yeah, absolutely. Now, one of the other um, features of it that I quite like, now this thing's only gonna, really gonna be on the big shows, probably a lot of touring. It's gonna be hanging up on, on a lot of trust with a lot of other moving headlights. And they've built in this really interesting stabilization feature. Mm. Whereas if it's on a, on a trust, you know, can move a bit when a whole bunch of movers all you know have to hit a different position. It uh, it corrects for that, which is really important when you're shooting that far. Yeah, especially like if you're shooting over 60, 80 meters, mm. you know, a fairly small movement mm. on the head translates mm. to a big movement in mm. position of the actual mm. uh, destination of the light source. Yeah, uh, and and not only the uh, the motion stabilization, but also the the position recall. Like if you knock the thing. Uh, it comes back to exactly where it was. Mm, the, mm. the recall is just absolute, and even the movement. Yeah. You know, if you if you tell it, you know, go from one position to another position really fast, it'll like, Whoo! yeah, it's and beautiful. It's just it's just mm. there. It doesn't have mm. that waggly sort of thing going mm. on. Yeah, which is very cool. Uh, and look, uh, you know, as you said, with subtlety with the color mixing mm. and things like that, also apply for the dimming. Yeah. You know, it, it's pretty clear. Roby spent a long time working on the optics for this. Yeah, because you don't see any changes in the size of the beam. You don't mm. see any color shift when you're dimming. It's just subtle. You don't see stepping. Mm. It's just, it's just like it should be. Yeah, this thing is a BMFL. Yes, it is.